Welcome to my humble abode. Have a seat. Let me tell you a tale. Children should be home before dark. There is no telling what hides in the shadows, emerging after the sun sets. But for the people of Abbeville in South Alabama, they have a pretty good idea of what darkness that lurk in the shadows, in the streets, and behind the bushes, and in the dark corners. The children of Abbeville, Alabama, have been warned plenty of times to stay indoors after dark. If not, they might encounter the creature known as Huggin' Molly on the streets. But first let's look a bit into Abbeville. The small place of Abbeville looks like any other small colonial towns in the south, with the cute brick houses with the flag waving towards the paved street, and with a population around 2,000. The climate is hot during the summer and mild during the winters. The people can shop in the small boutiques and eat at the family restaurant, a place where people know one another. It is also why when a stranger starts to roam the street, the townspeople takes notice as they watch from hammock on their porches. The town of Abbeville has seen many tragedies throughout the years. Not only the hardship of the European settlers, the surrendering of the Creek Nation and a town in southern Alabama also made it hard for the black people all the way up to the segregation times. There were reported lynching and sexual violence that went unpunished, making the streets more difficult for black people than the children that was warned to stay indoors after sundown. The southern town has also experienced tragedies that left a collective trauma so hard that legend took form, one of these being after the fire. At the start of the 1900s, an arsonist burned down all of Abbeville, and this is also at the time when it looks like the legend of Huggin' Molly took form. The town was also ravaged by an F2 tornado that destroyed many of the old buildings, forcing the town to build on top of the old. But these tragedies are not the things Huggin' Molly is about. Rather than one of the town's collective tragedies, this is one of the town's big mysteries. So begins one account of the story the people of Abbeville have told each other since the early 1900s. The local legend is known as Huggin' Molly, or the Lady in Black. Who is this woman all clad in black, and why is she after the children of Abbeville? What does she want with them? The local legend of Huggin' Molly has it that a tall figure, around seven feet tall, started walking the streets of Abbeville, looking for victims, mostly children. She has no name other than what the townsfolk started calling her, no face to speak of, and no one knows why she is after the children. She almost has this witch-like status around her, although her behavior is anything but. Hogan Molly is said to be dressed in all black with a wide brim hat, also black, wandering through the night in the disguise of the shadows, where even the street's light won't illuminate her identity. Once she found a victim, an innocent child wandering after darkness, she attacks, hugging the person tightly as she is screaming loudly into their ears. Who she is supposed to have been is up for debate and changes as the story itself changes throughout times. Was she a witch or the ghost of a woman that used to live in Abbeville? Is she something completely different from a human? In some accounts, when the local townspeople tells the legend, Huggin' Molly was a woman living in Abbeville a long time ago. She experienced a mother's worst nightmare when lost her own child. Her grief was too much to bear, and it made her mad. She started to roam the nights and went after the local children to make up for the death of child, like it was a way of dealing with the tragedy of losing her own. In other accounts of the legend, she was a woman who got murdered in cold blood on the very streets she is now haunting and are trying to fulfill something. Perhaps she was killed after dark with no one to look out for her, and are now in turn looking out for others. Perhaps the real story behind the legend is the version about her being a professor at what used to be Alabama Agriculture School, as some of the variations of the legend suggests. In these versions, she is only trying to keep the students safe by getting them off the streets at night. Or perhaps it wasn't a ghost at all that haunted the street in her afterlife, but someone or something getting dressed up specifically for this? To walk out in the dark to scare and hug children? Somehow this comes off as almost more frightening than a ghost who only wants a hug. Why would anyone do that?
That concludes the tale of Huggin' Molly. I hope you found it entertaining. Good night. Sleep tight.